Good boy. The Jack Russell is the oldest dog. He's 12. The Papillon's seven. The White Poodle Doodle is five. And Zana is about nine months old. <laughs> we didn't tell Vic that we have a new member of our family. Oh, my God. Is that? Uh, it's just one of our. Is that? Oh, that's her barking. Okay. She barked, honey. Shh, Maud, be quiet. What is that? She was like, "What's that? What is it? I don't think it's a dog barking." Seriously, what is it? Because that's not a dog. He wants you to train him because he heard so many things about it you know, that he thought maybe. You could train him because he's smarter than the average dog. He just wants to get trained. He might scream a little bit, but. <laughs> His name is Mud, and he's a pound and a half. He's a micro mini potbelly pig. And I was really hoping that Victoria would train him. I mean. <laughs> oh, you don't like that, do you? Let me give him back. Oh, yeah. Matt and Melissa surprised me with a piglet. I almost died. Here, no, don't, don't you get angry with me. Oh, he's an angry little pig. I've never trained a pig, but I'm excited to learn. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Rock and roll! Our dogs, we always have parties for them. We were integrating the pig with the dogs and letting them get to become friends. This is the way we make our animals socialize with each other. Oh, I'm grumpy pig. Lovely. We have piggy plates. We got piggy, piggy plates, plates, piggy cups. We got pup and piggy cupcakes. How do you make these cupcakes? They're made with wheat flour, cheddar cheese, apples, a little bit of honey, low-fat cream cheese, and a dabble of yogurt. And apples, right? Yeah, I said apples. Oh, and pigs Wait, love apples. Do the dogs sit on the seats? Yes, well, what we'll do is if dogs, usually what'll happen is the dogs will sit with their owner on a seat and they'll sit at the table and that's what'll happen. So someone will, either owner or if we have too many dogs, depends, someone else will help out. That's we'll what we want seat. to happen, but they'll probably <laughs> go on the table and start going for the pup cake. So we'll see, we'll see. Do you know if the other dogs are gonna be okay with mud? Um, no, I don't know them. It's gonna be complete chaos, so get you ready for it. <laughs> All right. Straight from Texas. <laughs> Mr. Mud making his debut on the scene. He's six weeks old. This is the Mud, and today is his day. These people are the most eccentric people I have ever met. It's just nuts. Happy birthday to the sexiest pig in New York. We wish you a happy birthday, pig man. Now blow your cake out. Good job. Yay! There is a pig on the table. Oh, how good do you look, Mud? You like that? Piggy. He loves it. Look at you, Piggy. Even though this is lighthearted and fun, I do want Matt and Melissa to realize that there is a real serious reason why I'm here. It's going to take work. It takes a lot of time and effort from both of you. And you don't just have one dog, you have four dogs and a pig. You know, I was a little taken back because I had to listen, and I don't like to listen sometimes. OK. okay. Yep. You, you got, got it. it. But we listened, okay, and uh, um, we're going to see what we can do. Victoria wants to show Matt and Melissa just how much training can accomplish. Now, I made you remove the chairs and put this on your table because I have a surprise for you. Is it a good surprise or a bad surprise? I think it's a really good surprise. I have a friend outside who has a different species of animal. Matt and I were freaking out. We thought, OK, what is it? Is it going to be like a baby tiger? These animals are used to teach animal trainers like me. What I'm going to show you is how that animal responds. It's also going to show you about how animals learn and about how you as people can become more effective parents. I got a little nervous because I'm good with all animals, but I hate snakes. So guys, I want you to meet Terry. Hi, Terry. Hey. hey. This is Tilly, and she is... Oh my god, what is it? She is a small chicken. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> she is. Can I pet her? Oh, you chicken. can find a pet her? Vic brought these chicken... <laughs> oh, chickens! Why do I need to learn how to train chickens? I have dogs, I have a pig. My chickens are trained to look at this, and when they look at that, 
I make a noise so they know they've done the right thing, and then they get a reward. When you train a chicken, you realize what the basics of training are. If I yell out at her, hey, Domina, nothing, nothing works. You need to tell the animal the exact moment they're doing something right, and then you reward them right after that. But if I do this, watch. She gets a treat. She's gonna follow this. Anywhere I want her to go, she's gonna follow this stick. Doesn't matter what species, with regards to training, they have to be patient. You have to have timing. You have to keep your words or your actions very, very simple. Could Matt have a go with the target stick? And Because I think you need to. Yes. Yeah. I think it's gonna eat my hair. Yeah. You are a chicken. Can I, can I do it with the toy chicken? No, you're gonna do it with the big chicken, Matt. Just the little you're one. Such a no, big, you're a big, tough guy. You gotta do it with the big chicken. That chicken has a big <laughs> nose. That chicken does not like me. How you doing? Click. She doesn't have to peck it. She just has to look. Now, I know chickens aren't that scary, but these chickens had some big beaks. I mean, big ones. <laughs> And like, I'm totally freaking out. I'm trying to keep my cool. What you want to do is make sure she doesn't see the reward. <laughs> oh, hey, chicken. immediately tell her she's doing the right thing. Yay. There. Oh, that did it. <laughs> there we go. Let me do it. Okay, quick, quick. There. You're too late. Oh. Did you click? You are oh. slow in your old sorry, age. Chicken. I don't understand what's going on. I just, I just couldn't get it. I guess my timing was off. Maybe I was just, my beat was off for chickens. Don't up it too quickly. Okay. Don't make it too hard for her. She's just a chicken. You've also got to wait. Wait for the animal to give you the behavior, then click And you notice she's not listening to chicken. She's not yeah. listening to your talking. She's paying attention to this. So try to, to be this. quiet and do it. This is part of the problem. Good job. Good, Matt. Yeah, getting that timing. Even better. I really felt Vic tried to teach us about positive reinforcement and patience and really working towards something. It doesn't happen overnight. Oh, he's mad. His friend is mad. You just made a chicken twirl. Yeah. I think he needs to work on the training more than I do. <coughs> you can train a chicken. You can certainly train your dog. I know. We had to do some pig training. Yeah. Is this a first for me or what? <laughs> You guys sit over there. I thought we would translate what you saw with the chickens to mud. So what I'm gonna do is click and treat him. Each time his mouth goes to get a treat, he's gonna hear the click just before he eats that. I wanna show Matt the technique whereby he can teach mud to target the target stick and thereby teach him how to walk on a harness and leash. He's a smart piggy. He is a smart piggy. If you train Mud right now, he's going to accept it no problem. Get back home. Good. Nice. Good one. Do you know how good your timing is and that you're doing it absolutely perfectly? The work that you did with the chicken is directly translated with the work that you're doing with your pig and how good you are at it now. I always do well when I work with chicks. <laughs> so he's got his leash on him now. You know, I want Piggy to be part of this family, so he's got to know the rules. So that hopefully he'll be a better trained pig, and him and the dogs get along good, and it'll be a happy family. Nice. You do this a lot, you're going to have a pig that walks on a leash. Get, let him touch it. Good. You are going to have the best leash trained pig in the county. <laughs> the only leash trained pig in the county. Good. I think it's the up and coming thing. I think it's going to be the news cool thing, and everyone's going to be like, oh, yo, I want that pig. Yo, that's a cool pig. Yeah, right for the toes. So, yo, Jersey Shore kids, if they see that pig in a pocketbook, they got that from me. There you go, your leash trained pig. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Go, you can take him for a walk now. Come on, bud. I think I've found a new career. Good. Matt has continued the training with Mud. We've been using the clicker and some food, and he'll do anything for food, so he's been walking along on his little leash. Better than Zana. Come on, good boy. It's great to see Mud actually walking on a leash now, and it just goes to show that simply taking the time to work with your animals, you can reap the rewards.